So yeah. Three, so I don't know if these guys have fought before one, yet. Go. Oh yeah, I mean I'm not sure, but you know. So So we're going into the battlefield, right? And King Ark automatically always already playing the keep away game from Palu. Yeah. Not wanting to deal with any of Palu's aerials. Mega Man, like one of the generally like smaller targets, so like when she goes in with Nair, uh, has to do it like good, a little bit closer to the ground. Although because of his weight, she should be able to string it on like quite a bit. Yeah. And like you see, he's just trying to like trap him. Yeah, because he's having. Um... Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, it's funny because he started the game, you know, just facing Palu out, and all of a sudden Palu got in, and now he ate eighty-three percent. Yeah. <laughs> I. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually curious how like things like Nair and Lord Tilt interact with the Leaf Shield. Because it's probably just like, uh, you'll pause the game, you know? Yeah. yeah, and the patience coming out from King Arc while he's recovering, you know, is really good. Because it's like, Mega Man's just a sitting duck most of the time when he's recovering. You, yeah. have, you have to be a little creative while recovering with Mega Man. Yeah, you kind of like have an Id a general idea of like, where he's going. So you have to like, really try and mix. Yeah, like, like, like there. He like he had to cover himself with the metal blade. Ooh, okay. The neutral blade didn't do, <laughs> did not come out. Totally missed Mega Man. I like the fact that King Ark is actually like still going off stage trying to like stuff power because it's just like there's some situations Ooh. where like she won't be able to answer, so it's just like put her in a precarious situation. So that's pretty good. Yeah, man. Like that like that, that metal blade smash is nice. Yeah, I like that pass off of the crash bomber. He's like, nah, I'm gonna grab the ledge, you take this back. Yeah, good Really? Forward yeah, that was, that was great for a total. <laughs> so, thing, thing about air diving to the ledge like that, it's just that, like, there is room for room to two frame, but it's like such like a, I, I wanna say it's like a two frame, like actually like a three frame window to two frame, or something like that. For who? Air, like air diving to the ledge, right? Isn't it something oh, like that? I, I actually don't know. I I don't think that data changes at all. I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's just like the moment you magnet to it. So it's just like if you air dodge, remember if you're like moving upward, uh, you won't grab the ledge, right? Only like uh, up B will like have that special auto cancel thing. But if you're moving upward with like, if you're just in dodge, it doesn't cancel into it. So if you, like, you get close to it, then you might have less time. Yeah. And or just the general distance traveled makes it harder to hit. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, he just did it. He just did it. Like, it Frozen, ate the crash. Bomb. Frozen's edge cancels today have been kind of insane. Every time I see Frozen like teleport towards the edge from the center stage, I'm just like, I get scared. You fool! It's so scary, and he doesn't. He hasn't messed it up once, so you know. No, no, no. But you know, I just jinxed him, so it's gonna happen. Yeah, and trying to come back to save neutral be and King are just there to meet him with the back air. Mm -hmm. Yeah. King Ark trying to fight his way back onto the stage, and Frozen is just patiently waiting for him to throw out a button, so, so he could punish him. Yeah, and Frozen seems to also be in tune in where like King Ark's uh, general uh, falling pattern is, because uh, he's catching with those explosive flames. Yeah. And Frozen hasn't been touched yet on the stock, and as I say that... Yeah, see, like, he... he... Oh, he. What? Oh, okay. Oh, that's so funny. Okay, so I, I. Okay, I see what he tried to do. He tried to um, counter. So, he tried to counter the crash bomber. But because it, I guess it counts as a projectile, so it becomes reflect, and then she can't counter it. That's really weird. Yeah, I mean that. I mean, that's the risk you have when you make a counter double as a reflect, right? Yeah, I guess. Dude, he just keeps getting caught by this. Yeah, man. Because the thing is, he he's already throwing out projectiles and drifting forward. And actually, him throwing out that metal blade got his hand clipped by the mm -hmm. explosive flame. Yeah, he actually got hit by the very tail end of that. Like you see right here, like he knocked him out, and like he's been doing it like the same uh, distance. And he's like, yeah, he <laughs> drifted right back into it. Oh no! So Frozen getting rid of uh, VFDs, FD and Kalos, and we're going to Yoshi's Story. Yeah. I mean, I agree with that Yoshi's Story. Yeah, uh, like you kind of have like the. You have the Battlefield Playground, but like you have like these smaller blast zones, and uh, you also ha you also kind of trap. So like the way Mega Man's down air works, you know, it's like this this projectile spike, right? You can't go under the stage, so you have to be 
you're more linear in your recovery where like if they end up rubbing their face against the, the stage, it's just like, oh, thank you. Welcome to Spike Country. Yeah, pretty much. You know, <laughs> because it's like, oh, OK, if you tech it, great. But, you know, I'm putting I'm putting that burden on you, you know, yeah, you, like you like you have to pick that option right now. Yeah. So, you know, it, that's definitely a, a good choice. By King Arc. Yeah. Does, does oh. that slant make Mega Man, like, shoot anything at an angle or nah? I don't I think so. I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, it's a very... Yo, I would love to see, like, downward F smash. <laughs> it's, a very, it's a very small slope. So. Just trying to get a two frame with that down tilt. Okay, early, good, good early teleport from Frozen. Frozen's early teleports today have been really good. Wow, godlike, <laughs> fantastic, beautiful. Uh, gonna put that in the ten, SD. Ten, ten, ten. Uh, in the S there you go. We, we have an SD folder. Yeah. Well, let's go. Once I have enough, I'm gonna post everyone SD. Let's go. <laughs> no, I like that. Yeah. He, ch he, ch he pretty much chased him with his own crash bomb. Yo, and that, okay, that was so good because he baited him by jumping into him and fading away with the threat of an up air and then just explosive flamed anyway. <laughs> That's sick. That was, that, was, that was good. That was a crazy bait by Frozen. I, and he's going to hit up by a lot of these explosive flames. Though. I feel like the range that King Arc tries to stay out of his opponent's bubble is uh, it, it's just, you know. The range of explosive flames. The range of explosive flames. <laughs> so, like, Frozen's just like, okay. Oh. <laughs> There we go. You're gonna stand over there. Well, explode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and yeah, because like like you said, like there's oh now right now I think in the back of Kinger's head, he's a threat of explosive flame, so he's oh he's not pressing as many buttons at that range as he was before. Mm -hmm. okay. Great parry. Yeah. Aaron not to adapt to that. He's throwing out more forward smashes and he's trying to get a harder punish. Looks like he's actually playing Mega Man right now. Ooh. Looks like that upper carried him a little bit forward. I like that. Kept his jump. Man, oh yeah, I think oh, he was he in a more precarious situation than he was. He kept his jump twice. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> all right. Oh, okay, <laughs> just, just, just flickering, okay. Um, a good catch anyway by King Arc. No, catch the escape option. No, that being said, all the trouble he was having with explosive flame, he still has the lead. Yeah. It's like he may be losing in that situation, but every time he like gets in, he's definitely making the best of it. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, Frozen's explosive flames are hilarious. He just doesn't care. Yeah, dude, he's just like, I'm falling, eat this. He, yeah, oh my god! <laughs> King, dude. Arthur, King Arthur shakes his head, he's just like, how many times am I gonna hit with this dumb move? It's like, bro, like, I don't know. Uh, you can... Uh, you can kind of like... You know when you're in range, you know? So, like, just... Stop hitting buttons. I don't know. Yeah. Like I know, I know that like Mega Man wants to set up. Like he wants to get uh, the Crash Bomber out. He wants to get the Metal Blade. But like, but, like stop. Yes, yeah, because you know what the problem is is that he knows that Mega Man's recovery options aren't the greatest. Yeah. So, so he knows that he needs to throw out. He needs to throw out like a Crash Bomber or Metal Blade <gasps> just so he can re recover competently. And I love that attempt. Spaghetti everywhere though. Ooh yes. I love how fast people launch. Yo. From his forward air. and yeah that was pretty close oh my god yo that like that was a crazy cross up by King Arc. yeah my god <laughs> bro no King is so angry. like not like this oh I like that he's just like put it back on you now you have to wait ooh oh my god didn't the kill him explosive for me? Okay. actually maybe I mean, he did. It's literally how he won game one. That oh, angle was crazy by Frozen. Dude, if Frozen... Oh, my God. Like, if Frozen's going to read an F smash, be out of range, and he'll be in explosive flame range, and then it's over. Oh, oh no. no. Okay. <laughs> it's just... Yo, okay, King Arc. That was a great down-air attempt. Yeah. 
Yikes, 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 yikes. Oh, that up air. My God, you saw how high that center? Like, that up air, oh. he died. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay. Why would you yeah. jump? No, nah, I think he died anyway. He you died think? anyway. Yeah, he died anyway. He's at, he's at 160%. That All up air right. is going to kill him. Yeah, he, he died. All right. That up air trade with the Nair. And, man, just the resources that King Ark was using just to get back to ledge. Mm -hmm. Man, he, he used every single resource he had just to not die. That was, that was some crazy stuff that came out. He's trying his hardest, man. All right, so evening it up. No PS2, no Lilat, going to Smashville. Three, I like that. Two, like, one, Nair go. makes the, the center platform like lava. Oh, yeah. You know? And, and canceling and letting Palu cancel off the middle of that, off that middle platform, especially the way Frozen cancels. Yeah. Because now he has like this, this cross cancel where he can come from one side and like cancel across the stage to you. Yeah, he just doesn't care now. And like if you're chilling on the platform, you know, like I said, it's lava because it's just gonna scoop you up like that. <laughs> yeah, and the way uh, that... Not like this. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, read that. Grab the wrong way though. Yeah, and these, these early teleports, especially now to the middle platform, it's giving him two places where he could just reset neutral if he wanted to. Yeah, but on the counter, uh, on the counter play, you see that uh, King Arc is like making sure to have center stage and stay under the platform. So it's just like, oh, you're not, you can't like jump in on me. Like you're gonna have to force a short hop. It's gonna be linear and like a lot more predictable. If you go high, I have this roof over me where you can't do an attack. If you do an attack, you won't be able to fall through the platform, and I'll punish you. I'll stuff you. Yeah. Oh my God, that's that explosive lane is still close. Just, just eating that jump. All right. All right, I think uh, King Ark is finally, like, adjusting to the distance of Explosive Flame. Yeah. Maybe he just, like, hasn't played uh, someone who was just, like, <laughs> oh, I'll Explosive Flame, you know? And sometimes you just got to go through that. Ooh, ooh. I feel like... Frozen could have definitely taken advantage of that. He got the kill anyway, but I feel like he could have taken advantage of that that hidden jump. Jeez, better. He's canceled. Early. Yeah. Frozen. I feel like Frozen does it to like no, oh, okay. to like spook him, because like you know he's not actually getting anything from it. Like he's what? getting some. He, he, he's, he's, he's out getting, of the range. Yeah, he's yeah. getting a mix-up options. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that back. <laughs> <laughs> did, did he just? Bro, he really got down there into explosive, almost into explosive flame. All right, now we're getting to that dangerous area where, like, if oh he no. doesn't take the stop. He dodge past the ledge. He tried. Wow. Okay. Footstool Z drop. Uh, Metal Blade. Run! Yeah, yeah. Caught, yeah, caught that jump off the ledge and first and smile. Like, yeah, okay, you got that. <laughs> yeah, not to mention he had a lot of damage anyway, so he had, like, reduced uh, legend visibility anyway. Oh, yeah, good. Good jab into grab. King of Okay, and just reflecting that metal blade, getting some invincibility from that reflect. I don't know. This is not looking good for King Arc. Being at 75 on your last stock, and uh, he's just going up and up and up. He has to make something happen fast, but like Mega Man doesn't like operate that way, you know? Yeah, yeah. Mega Man's definitely a slow burn character. Yeah. Yeah, and that leaf shield does have a lot of end lag on top of it. I mean, unless unless Frozen wants to do that and like potentially just give him a stop, but Frozen knows me. Yeah, yeah, read that jump option with the back air. Pretty good. Yeah, I mean, good stuff by Frozen. And you know, King and yeah, King Arc uh, going into losers finals. Yeah, I saw how he just like. Saw him that he did the metal blade, he kept his jump, so it was just like, I can stuff you now. Goodbye. And my stuff is a kill move, so yeah, enjoy. Yeah, man. So, uh, good stuff. Uh, how this run back uh, happens goes down. Okay, um, yeah, uh, so we got um, Milk Rob. And uh, I commentated the first set between these two. And. Yeah, the first set was like a lot of like 
still is putting out moves, but like the mobility that Wario has was just like he was staying out of his space, waiting for him to be in cooldown, waiting for him to be in like some sort of like disadvantage state, and it was just like, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you with the tiny kick. Yeah, and right now, um, Milk is being a lot more aggressive than he was in that first set. Yeah, you definitely have to like you want to suffocate a character like Rob, because you know? like you don't want him to get uh, like set up with his stupid toy, and uh, you don't want him to get comfortable. Yeah. Cause then he then he shoots lasers from his eyes and you just that's not you don't want that. It does like twenty damage. But Dill is keeping it even. Yeah, yeah, right Ooh. now, um Ooh. Milk is doing a good job at keeping Dill into the corner. Yeah. But Dill was able to reverse it. And the bike and the bike just blocking everything. Well, okay, yeah, good roll in. I'm glad I saw the roll in and not, and <gasps> no, no, he's okay. definitely not. Yeah, okay. No, he's not. That would have been OD. Oh, and that was a great air dodge into the platform. Not getting hit by that up there. Yeah. So the gyro like destroyed the bike, but the gyro is still like a persistent item, and so it, it's just like still there, rocking. He just like ran into it. Yeah, and landing there. Yo, wow. I. Dude, so, he did parry waft. So, okay, let's he talk. Was, he was like 10 steps ahead. He was just like, you're going to throw this bike, obviously. I'm going to parry this and kill you. But it just, like, the timing wasn't there for it. But well, he, it was there in his well, head. Like, well, he had know, it. well, you know why it happened, right? It's because Rob threw, Rob threw an item, and then you don't get the freeze. The person, person throwing the item does not get yeah, the freeze. The, the item froze on a person didn't. Yeah, that's true. So, Rob wasn't frozen. He just got the parry and it did nothing. Parrying is unfinished, ladies and gentlemen. Don't ask me. <laughs> like, but, I mean, I mean, good stuff by you know, Dill just getting that kill anyway. All right, but Dill not really able to build on much of a lead. Uh, Twenty-seven percent, thirty-six. It doesn't matter. This is still uh, very even because Milk has to just land like one string. But Dill isn't giving it to him. Yeah, and great get-up attack. Just stuffing out that um side B, and just like that, a yeah. quick, a quick sixty percent. That's crazy. Oh! Yo! Okay. Um, he just went. Okay, we don't put that half off. Milk was like, I need to make something happen like right now, and he just like went in. He like, the whole rhythm that he was playing neutral that whole time would not have like that. He broke pattern to go out to go that deep. Yeah. Like, was Dill wasn't ready for that at all. Yeah, that was a great edge guard. Yeah. Yeah, falling up there on shield. Okay. Yeah, looking for the bike, not there. Okay. And right now, Milk, you know, Milk is playing really well. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That Tekken place, we, we, yeah, yeah, Rob eats those Tekken places, man. Yeah. <laughs> Milk taking his time, also building Waft. Yeah, he's not taking his time, he's just building Waft. <laughs> Which is, you know, very good strategy. Uh, and Ooh, like... Okay. We have like the reverse of like the second stock where it was a small lead where it's like you can just bring it back and now Dill, it's Dill's turn to like even it up right back. Yeah, right oh. now, um, Milka's having a hard time landing and... The fact that he killed him, he took his second stock with Waff means he's at like at the farthest where he could build Waff. So like... Ooh, ooh he a half off out of shield, which would have killed him if he killed off the left side of the stage. But. Yeah, but now that he... Uh, whiffed it. Like, I don't know how much time it takes for that for that level off. <gasps> I mean, if it's half level, I'm, I'm guessing it's one minute, right? Ooh! Not necessarily, but maybe, yeah. I intuition would say so, right? <laughs> yeah, right now, the grab will... My Ooh. god, Dill just like swinging, dodge. He's like swing, swing, dodge, swing. Because I'm pretty sure an up throw will, will kill Warrior right now, if I'm not mistaken. Up throw? Yeah, an up throw. Yeah, I think so. Dill might be. Oh no! Yikes. Wow. Okay, that was that was a pretty sloppy scramble situation. Yeah. So both we, we had flubs all around, and it just looked like Dill tried to walk up and grab him, and got dash attack. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like, uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, <looked laughs> yeah like, he definitely did. Yeah. Like, I, either that, or um, there's this thing. This is a weird thing. Sometimes like when you land, um. Try to dash immediately. I don't know if it has anything to do with the buffer window, but um, instead of getting dashed for it, you'll get like walk forward sometimes. Like you'll get like sticky feet. 
I don't know what causes that. Um, I was talking about it earlier. I was, who was I talking that to? I was talking that earlier with somebody. I forgot who it was. Um, Stop the battle. Yeah, man. All right. Well, uh, Milk got rid of both triplats, and Dill's like, let's go back to Smashville. Understandable, honestly. Uh, you want, like, a character like Rob, you like, you want to keep him close. Like, you want to get in on Rob, but, like, Rob also wants to, like, do a bunch of toy shenanigans. So, like, also, uh, when he does his down tilt chain, you know, because of how small the stage is, like, his down tilt chain will most likely take you to the edge. Yeah. Like, at, even at higher percents, because he doesn't have to down tilt as many times. Oh, oh my god. My yo, god. yo, 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 okay, so... I'm not sure. That tripped him three times in that sequence. I live with that this. That tripped him three times. I live with this. In that sequence. Oh my god. Um, um. That, that was hilarious. Okay, so Dill, Dill's usage of his uh, down tilt is really strong right now. That being said, still still an even game. Very calculated down tilts. These are calculated down tilts, I'm not gonna Hell lie. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you see that? <gasps> Goodbye. And, and you see, that's that's definitely like the advantage of this type of stage. You know? He literally did that from the right side. The edge of the right side. Took him all the way to the left. And then killed him for it. So he definitely did 80% of that last stock with down tilt. Oh, yeah. And I, don't, and I don't know how to feel about that. He built the damage, and then he set up the kill with it. Dude, Rob is just down tilt. Yeah, and <laughs> he's. I'm, I mean, I'm liking the use of the half waft by uh, Milk. Yeah. Like, he's being very generous with it because, you know, I you know, I now respect that because sometimes, you know, wires hold the waft for a little bit too long. And he just wants to, he just wants to kill the momentum immediately. If he, if he has an opportunity, he's going to let it rip. Yeah, not to mention, like, one, you also get it more frequently, and two, the way you kind of get in on Rob kind of lends itself to, like, oh, I can land this. Mm -hmm. So, it's like, yeah, use it use it to its potential. You try to get the most out of um, every exchange. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. Oh, and great avoidance, okay. Yeah. Also, Dill was able to just, like, throw that out much easier because he was only at 25% when he did it. Are we? Okay. Oh, no. So that's what happens when you, like, try to, yeah. You just start mashing for the tilt. Okay. Hey. No gyro. <laughs> hey, we take this. Stupid toy. I'm trying to grab that nair like that. It's not going to work. No, down tilt and then air down tilt. How did that how even did that, happen? How did that bite whiff? How did he like jump through it and then like yeah? How did the bite? That looked really funky. Things are happening right now. I'm not really sure why. Yeah. Um, Dill died at like 30 from that SD, right? Like, and now nah, he was at pretty decent. I don't think he was at 30. Because I mean, it was like right after I said he was at 25, and then he died. Ooh, he okay. took a few hits. Yeah, he might have been at like 40. Yeah. But yeah. Um, right now, I'm pretty sure Milk is at half. <gasps> he's at half walk mask. So. Yeah, okay, so Milk went for the no mash mix up. Yeah. And the thing the problem with the no mash mix up, yes, that stops from the up air, but the no mash mix up makes it makes it so that you can get hit by those. That's the 50 50. So it's like if you mash, you only have to press like a few buttons and you'll immediately pop out. So like if he reads that you're gonna do that, he'll do he'll catch you with up tilt and up tilt will combo to up air. Or he'll just do straight up up air, depending on like what the percentage is of how fast they'll launch out. Yeah. And then like if they don't mash at all and they can die to up smash. Well, it's you're, you're going to die at up smash. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's kind of scary. Yeah. Good, st I mean, good stuff right there. Okay. Close game. Last hit game, too. Man. Still getting rid of Pokemon Stadium. Not sure what he wants to get rid of next. Taking his sweet time. This is always, like, I, t I totally, like, resonate with this, you know, where you're like, what is my other thing? <laughs> what am I? It's like, what am I getting rid of? All right, cat, getting rid of. Oh man! So Are got rid of two again? out of three Pokemon, and he was like, "We're going to Pokemon." We're going to you know again. Yeah. Okay. He did, he did this uh, set one. Yeah. Um. I kind of, I kind of like it because the, because you know, it's still a pillar stage. It has like a little bit of uh, like those slopes underneath the platform, uh, the edge. 
But like, so if you like rub your head against it, you're gonna get hit by Rob, uh, by Wario down air. Yeah. You know, like he can just like cover that area. Cause like, even though there's still an underside of the ledge, it's still a pillar, you know? So I definitely think that's what he's going for. And I, I don't know what the blast zones are on this stage. Does this have like smaller sides or something? Um, I don't, I, I think they have pretty similar blast zones to Smashville, don't quote me on that. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't understand. Does Smashville have a relatively smaller size? No, it's like regular size. Okay. Like, like average size. Cause I'm, try I'm trying to think like maybe there's like some uh, waft uh, reasons as well. But like just in general, just, just like being able to like track them because you can't, they can't go under the stage. Hey, you know, it Just might that. be, it might be the down air reason. Yeah, that that's what I'm saying. About. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and he probably knows. He probably has lived this out many times. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, uh, well, Dill got rid of Pokemon Stadium and Talon. <laughs> yeah, I really like how Milk's just like waiting. He's just like. Get closer to the ledge. Do it. Do it. Oh, okay. You know, I thought he was going to go off with that side B. I, th I thought so, too. <laughs> I don't think Dill's uh, there yet. He's not that crazy? Yeah. Yo, okay. they're, they're almost in sync and rhythm to, like, how they're reacting to things. Oh, okay. That forward air. Tiny kick. I like how Dill's uh, waiting. He's, like, hovering. Oh, hey, okay, and he went, okay, he, went, he went for that, man. I respect that. I mean, to be fair, that probably was pretty safe. Wow. And that was great DI by Milk, yeah. actually, because he went completely to the left. Yeah. So. I'm pretty sure Rob's up air still has, like, the same DI where, like, if you're on the right side, you have to DI left, and you have left side DI, right? Yeah. Um, so. And, yeah, so it was just, like, he, he definitely got out of that perfectly. Ooh, ooh, oh, my God. Oh, my God, and the bike was in his way. He tried to follow the roll with the down air. Yeah, and they extended his hitbox, making him last longer, and then Dill was able to, like, just catch him. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. What the yeah, hell was down, that? Down tilt dash tech. Parry down tilt dash What did he parry? He parried the, uh, the gyro. So, like, he was just invincible. So, like, yeah, Rob didn't attack. Yeah. And he was just, like... Sorry, I, I I parried this. You're gonna so, die now. So right now, uh, Mario has waft. Yeah, he could turn this around immediately. Dill need. Oh, oh man. Oh my god. <laughs> that's that's also why he picked this stage. That's damage. Yikes! 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 Ooh. Oh, okay, I like that. Looking okay. for the bike. I kind of get that. He was gonna like stuff his aerial approach. Oh my! I thought he was. Oh my! Oh my! I like that. Wow. Yo, fortunate enough he got hit with the back hit. Yo, double the, the side B. Because if, if Milk got hit with the forward hit of the side B, he would have been dead already. Oh my god. I still kind of. All right. He read that he was going to do uh, like back off uh, forward air or something. Man. That's definitely what he like. He had to read, read some sort of ledge option that was like not get up attack. Yeah. Now this is really spooky. God, they're like they're playing. They know the next person who loses the stock is gonna be in like hell at disadvantage. Yeah, it's gonna suck. Oh, oh and another dash check. He's been reading. He's been reading those options with dash check. He'll die to up smash, uh, up throw right now. But mid Dill's gonna walk up slowly and get back here. <laughs> he wants to grab. <laughs> Let's see if that happens again. Yeah, this is a tense situation, man. And it's only the second stock for both of them. And these guys are just playing so safe. And they know. They know this stock is important. It's very important. That yes. buy. And just like that, Milk takes takes the takes the second stock first. So I think he can still die to up throw though. Being oh, at 184. 100 percent Yeah. 190. Alright, or almost forward air. Yeah, he didn't, uh, ha no didn't have bike. his bike. Yep. Yeah, he got sent out hella deep. Yeah, ate that, healed nothing. Oh, and anti-airing airing parry, that gyro out of existence. I don't like how much Jill is like hanging on the ledge right now. Okay, so that was a little scary. Ooh. Just waiting it out, trying to get that falling up there. I feel like the laser uh, could have been better punished, unless it had like OD uh, shield lag, but I think it was just uh, Milk being like, I don't know how he can act out of this, so I'm not going to go. <laughs> yeah, and both of them are playing very, very, very safe. Neither, neither of them wanting to expose themselves too much to some. Yeah, they're, they're, they're literally playing. Ooh, like, and that anti air. That was the oh first time he. My. Oh! oh! Okay, that was the first time he anti aired him with the up tilt. He's been, he's been anti airing him with the dash tech that whole time. My god, that Nair is so active. Oh, 
Oh, just, just be aware that the bike is still on the other side of the stage. So if Milk gets knocked off deep, he won't have that option to get back to the stage. Yeah, and you see that Dill like didn't go for. Oh my God, he didn't. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> just, just too much happened. He didn't go for the bike. Yeah. Like he threw him away from it to like. Oh, oh really? No, nah. Not gonna kill him. Yeah, that wasn't actually even that close. Like looking at the radar. No, don't get side bead. Get side. Bead. <laughs> get side bead. Man, this is. Dude, that dash attack is terrifying. <laughs> Yo, Milk is waiting. Yeah. He's, milk is Milk is waiting. Oh, no, he, has no, he has no bike at the ledge right now. Right now? Okay, okay. Bike, bike still has not, hasn't recharged yet. You Really? Yeah, bike still hasn't charged. That means bike is charged right oh, now. Oh, falling up God. there. Oh, the back you're not hitting. No. No, that's. Okay, oh. and he's out. Ah, and he's out. And he punched. He get punched with the waff out of shield. Oh he did not God. mash. That was he did not mash. <laughs> he didn't mash. He did not nope. mash. He didn't have. The Let's read. go. Oh, that was terrible. Oh my God! Really? He did not mash. This is a really good set. I really he like oh, set. actually no. He immediately mashed. Excuse me. He <laughs> immediately mashed. Let me let me. He immediately mashed. Oh. That's wow. how you mash. He put him into the grind and said, nah, I'm alive. You can't put me in the dirt. Let's go. They were on opposite sides. Made the semis and then both lost. Three, two, okay. One, Let's go. go. Okay, so we're, go we're gonna start off at Kalos. Uh, big stage. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I could see it benefiting both characters. Uh, Mega Man could use his ranged attacks to try to keep Milk out and Milk can camp and try to get some walk. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, that platform, he's gonna be like, yo, uh, you come. To me. Oh yeah, that down here is active. There's also the fact that both of these characters like benefit of stage advantage of the stage being a pillar, right? So we have Mega Man down air and Mario down air. Oh my God, the bike! Yeah. <laughs> the bike just <laughs> evaporated. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. That was spinning. Yeah. Oh, and that forward they're going right through the leaf shield. No, Milk's, Milk's starting to set out very aggressively. Very different from what we saw when he was playing Dill. Mm -hmm. And just like you said, that down air, King Arc's down airs have been on point today. Yeah, and especially on a stage like this, it's like, where are you gonna go, dude? Nowhere. Blast zone. The floor. Have a seat. Oh, and that, <laughs> that bike hurts. Okay. That yeah, leaf shield, man. Oh, he wanted to backyard his shield and he grabbed the middle blade by accident. Okay, I'm pressing a little bit too much with the with that um, dash attack on shield. Okay. Bro, I have so many Wario bots today. Oh, and that and that board so goes through the leaf shield. Wario's hand does not care about that leaf shield. Okay, getting the falling up there. That looked like that shield poked actually. Like the way Milk positions himself to get those falling up bears. Mm -hmm. like, like he, he like he, he like will clap like the top corner, mm -hmm. and you're gonna get and ooh and, get clapped. and that fade back. Oh okay no I respect it okay so if if he read that tech in place properly, that was um that was a waff punish hundred percent. So I respect him going for that. That up eight hit a little ledge. Wow. Okay, yeah, you know, yeah, Wario's also a big boy. And he did it! Dude. <laughs> Yo, he just did it! <laughs> okay, I, this is, okay, this, now this is how, this is how you need to play this game, man. Um, not, you not, you have to not be afraid to edge guard. And Milk knows that Mega Man has, not, does not have the best time recovering. Also, did you see how the platform got in the way of the Metal Blade G-Drop? Oh, it yeah. was just like, I placed it down. I don't think he did that on purpose. No, not at all. And that, that was a great recovery by King Arf, because he covered the ledge with the Crash Bomber and then stalled the air dodge just so he could get back to ledge. Goodbye? No, okay. He like had his jump. He got, the, he got up really quickly. Ooh, okay. He tried to cover that roll with the bike. 
I don't know. What? All right, that was sick. That was weird. Hmm. They just not not have enough drift. Um, they get scared by accident. I don't. I want to know what happened. All right, let's see. Did he take it? No, no, he jumped. Oh no, he didn't have enough drift. Damn. I feel like he could have made no, that. No, he doesn't have. It. So think about some of the characters in this game, the way they made their recoveries. Mm -hmm. When they up B, they just lose their drift sometimes. Like it's like it's like Fox up B, or Marth up B. Yeah, like you'll like you're you'll, just chilling. You'll up B and you just have no. You won't have enough drift Can't for a little bit. I feel like a lot of characters used to have that. Yeah, no, a lot of characters were like that. and they removed it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like Pits Nuts. up B doesn't has like sucky drift right at the apex after he's done flying. He just kind of falls straight down his guys. Yeah. Two, one, go. Taking this to Battlefield. And right off the bat, the up air pressure already. Wow. Up tilt goes from one platform to land on the other platform. Incredible. Okay. Right now, Milk is just taking a lot of damage simply just from pellets and, and projectiles. That falling up air on the shield. Ooh, okay, metal blade in the up tilt. We can up tilt. So he's doing a lot of um, leaf shield off a ledge. And just a, just a lot of leaf shield just to punish some of Milk's aggression. Just trying to spot dodge a floor smash, not gonna work out for you. King Ark is not letting Milk breathe. Yeah, I mean, and it also seems like Milk is picking some of these options haphazardly. Um, he's, he's, he's just running into a lot of things. It just seems like King Ark is sitting there, you know, throwing out his projectiles, and Milk is just running into it. And with that being said, he gets slapped. Yeah, slapped and it actually completely it. evens slapped, it up. Slapped it 100%. Yeah, bonus he is. Okay. Ooh, yeah, the bike goes nuts. Okay, so he definitely just ate 35% for my bears. Or whatever the hell just happened. And man, that leaf shield, he's, it's just doing so much shield damage and just so much pressure. Okay, and good early upbeat by Milk. Yeah, he's just been catching Milk at the ledge, pressing buttons with this leaf shield. I mean, I think at this junction of the game, I think just Milk just needs to slow it down a little bit. Because, like, he's he's just been running into just a bunch of stuff, man. You're like, man, he's got the adrenaline, dude. Yeah, no, understandable. It's like, it just seems like King Ark is just being very, very patient. Yeah, like, King Ark came into this being like, I have a plan. I'm going to stick to that one. Okay, okay, okay. Now this is now this is the time. So he has waft on deck right now, and he's definitely looking for that. Co <gasps> no, Ooh. that was it. He had. Oh my god, he had two times to confirm it. How did that bite whiff? How did that bite whiff? How did that bite whiff? I think he went for the minimum bite time, which I guess is the same as a. Uh, he has the same as a spot dodge. Oh my god, that, man! How did that bite whiff, man? That's crazy. So right now, um, King Ark only at 85%. And another, and another Leaf Shield just coming off the ledge. It's, it's, like I said, like he's just been catching these aggressive options coming out from Milk at the ledge with Leaf Shield. Okay. Yeah, every single time he's just catching Milk just slipping. Oh, yo! I really like that recovery. Okay. Now, if Milk can manage to take this stock, then he's not out. Yeah, yeah. You know, he, he can still be in it. Cause, like uh, it, it, like it's totally part of like Wario's archetype. Ooh. Like but if he can get, get the stock. Yeah. But if he gets hit by another aerial, he's done. <gasps> Oh my god. It like ate his oh, shoulder. Oh no, yeah, you died. <laughs> what? Still out of 
three. Best out of three, Gax. Stand up. Get out of here. That's actually yo, really three out, yo, three out of five losers, winners, and grand finals. Uh, what? Yeah, we should do that. Uh, no. Only top three. No. Only top three, bro. I got work tomorrow. Yeah, I have off this week, so that's why I'm here. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, getting right into it. Going to PS2. <laughs> and right and right out the gate. Explosive flame. Frozen starting out with that explosive flame. Yeah, so we have to see if uh, King Ark was able to, like, you know, really reflect on all the explosive flames he got hit by. Maybe watch the VOD, something. Oh, yeah. So, so real quick, I don't know if you just noticed. Um, so King Ark did this thing where he pelleted, he pelleted him, knocked him down, and he ran at him and knocked him off the ledge. Um, mm. That's a, that's the thing that's useful because like you know how you you push people you don't run through them. Mm -hmm. So at the ledge you just push just them off. Just keep going. Yeah, yeah. Just keep going. Especially in tumble situ in tumble situation you can do that. So, um, right now Frozen still in advantage with that whiff. Greg King Arc is now at the stage at 95%. Ooh. Frozen was definitely trying to go for that up smash. Up smash has a lot of range for some reason. Up smash can also hit under ledge. So I don't know if you knew that. Say that again? Up smash, Palutena up smash and get oh, a hit yeah. under ledge. It scoops. The light may start at the ledge, but it's it, it really is starts below the ledge. Yeah, it starts from repeat. Um, right now you're frozen with the early lead at 117%. Ooh, I'm missing his edge cancel. And King Ark actually catching on to that because he edge cancels a lot and he just vanished. I don't know if that was bad DI, he just accepted his fate. And, think, and the thing about it is, like, jumping at Palutena isn't always the best idea, so you got Frozen standing there, just narrowing in place because you saw, he saw, um, Ark short hopping, so. Oh, went for the trump. A little difficult to get in trumps in this game, I've seen from a lot of players. Well, yeah, you, could, you can now DI trumps. Like, you hold in, you'll go up, you hold out, you'll go out. Yeah, it, but it's just like, I see a lot of players just missing the ledge completely. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah! Like not even that that part. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but um, you know, good in good forward air by King Ark in that scramble situation. How do I grab the wedge? Ooh, okay, and, and yeah, he's he air dodged that um crash bomber. Knew the timing of it. We we'll try to punish that with forward smash, and King Ark not able to punish that with a grab because. The forward smash has a win box, and he read that standard get up with an up smash, so now Frozen with pretty much a full stock lead. Yeah, that's, that's a guaranteed 30%. Yeah, good good high recovery by um, Frozen. Just to get out of the situation, because King Ark's down airs have been really good, and that... That one hit of neutral, that one hit of um, neutral air to get frozen off the ledge, that was pretty good. Yeah, but still being down like over an entire stock deficit on his last stock. Yeah, getting lapped. Yeah, this is looking pretty okay. This is looking pretty good for Frozen right now. And so remember, Frozen's coming from winter side. Yeah. Yeah. So Ark has to take has to win this set and then win another set in order to take this tournament. And right now, this is proving pretty tough for him. Right now, Frozen pretty much has him at, you know, kill percent, and he died. No, you didn't. Good, great DI coming from Hangar. Yeah, right. Yeah, right now, this is this is really rough. It's like Frozen just throwing out every single kill move he has. Yeah, so can we talk? Can we talk about um, Frozen's wave landings for a second? So he's just he's just wa he, he did like wave land forward air um, to get King Arc off the stage, mm -hmm. and that was like it was, like just the move and mix up options coming out of Frozen is just really impressive. Because mm -hmm. besides the teleport canceling, he's been doing a lot of wave lands, you know, this tournament. So, all right, C certain characters have better wave lands than others. So, you know. Can't really apply it to all characters. Like I know Krom has a good wave land. Like yeah, like yeah, Krom Roy has a good wave land. I'm sorry. 
What? Oh no, I said uh, the wavelength. Three, two, one, yeah, but do you Prime and Roy has good have good wavelength. But, but do you see the screen? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, hey, look. Let's see how this works out. Yeah. Look, he wants. To, hey, look, he has nothing to lose right now. Yeah. I mean, like. His Mega Man, you know, he already tried out the Mega Man. Why not try out the, the Ridley? He literally tweeted like a few days ago that he said he's been working on a Ridley. And he's just like, I think he's like not sure like when to pull him out. And uh, yeah, like you said, like at this point, you know, try and get something that works. Get hit yeah. by Explosive Flame four games, then, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you got to change something. Yeah, try something out. I respect it. So he's become King Space Pirate. And right now, the Ridley's not looking too bad. He got 50%. He's back though. Right? Yeah, let's see. Now, now the thing about this is Ridley also has a pretty wonky disadvantage thing um, because he is a big guy, big, big character. Right now, uh, King Arthur doing a really good job holding his own. Yeah, no, not too bad. He might be losing in percentage, but you know he's a big boy, so it's actually fairly even. And if he lands, you know, one of his hits, she will die. Maybe. Depend, depending on where he is. Ooh, that grab. That grab range. Okay. Yeah, back throw not going to do it yet. Heavy boy. Yeah, Nair not going to do it. Not not against Ridley at this percent. Okay. Yeah. And trying to punish that uh, teleport cancel with an up smash. Got back here in return. You know, I, you know, I respect the read. Another, another up smash. Another up smash read. I think I think King Arc's kind of catching on to his teleport cancel patterns. So he's standing out of range where he could cover um, the teleport and potentially at the ledge. Yeah, right now it's, it's, it's a little tough to get for Arc to get out of the corner. That hitbox is really big. It's kind of reminiscent of Wolf's, wow. uh, reminiscence of Wolf's upbeat, like how big the hitbox is. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. Looked like he tried to get a down throw and got spot dead. That's a common, that's a common miss that a lot of players get. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Has arc at the ledge. Yeah. Go, he went for the down, down throw back air follow up. Mostly because Ark, he knew Ark was behind into him anyway, so he went for that mix-up. And yeah, just like that, Ark is on his last stock. With Frozen laughing him in percent. Getting so much mileage out of this neutral air and this explosive flame. Just the threat of explosive flame sometimes making King Ark, you know, pick certain options at ledge. Let's see how he gets off. Okay. No, good roll on. No, let's see. Let's see if Ark gets some type of foothold on this. Ooh, and he gets grabbed. Let's see how he recovers. Going extra deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recovering low. Yeah. Yeah, tough man. You know, I you know, I respect it. I respect trying it out. But um, good stuff from Frozen. And we got a new champion. A yeah. new Smash Ultimate champion. H03K Frozen. Yeah, man. Good stuff. Yeah, I don't think I could have stuff, man. Yeah? I'm going from Frozen.